because no one wants to be forgotten ever. No one wants to be forgotten. So Jesus says, remember me. I think of two people who have taught me this in amazing ways. Two people, Leo and Leela. Let me tell you the Leo story because that's the one that you have shared with me. You remember Leo Johnson. You remember the family. They're right over there. You remember that that journey into leukemia. I remember because it was one of the most tender moments of my entire clergy career, if not my entire life. And maybe a day or two before Leo heard God's call to come home, I was over at the Johnsons' home, and the twins were playing with some friends outside of the home, and Jeff and Susan and I were around Leo's bed. And his bed was in the family room, at least one of the cats, there might have been two, one, one or two cats, I don't know, they were on two. But one was on the foot of the bed, and there we were. And, and Leo seemed a little quiet, and, and I, was, I was just there. I didn't know my hands from my feet. I didn't know what to do. But Jeff and Susan were pastoring their son. They were indeed walking him to the grave and beyond. And Susan said to Leo, are you afraid? Or you seem afraid. And he said, yes. And she says, Leo, what is it that is causing you fear? What are you afraid of? And the big tears started down his cheeks as he was there and about down mine and down all of ours. And he said, I am afraid that you will forget me. Not I'm afraid to die. Not I'm afraid of God. Not I'm afraid of whatever it is out there. I, I, I have never forgotten that. He said, I am afraid you will forget me me. And then Susan and Jeff pastored their son. And they told him that they would never forget him. That it was impossible to forget him. And we talked about